Hi everybody, I'm Kevin and welcome to the Suburban Garage Workshop. This week is going to be a little shorter. I've been uh, under the weather all this week so I didn't have time to do a whole build, build video but I'm working on some uh, plans for a new uh, table saw cabinet so uh, that'll be interesting for those who have that DeWalt uh, table saw. It might be really interesting. But this week I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, snipe, planer snipe, and even more um, how to prevent your planer from tearing up a piece of wood when you're when you're basically planing very thin pieces. So this is just a select pine, and this is a start up start of life is a three quarter inch select pine board. And I was cutting these down to make dividers for drawers, and when I ran this through the planer, when it got down pretty thin like this, the planer pretty much ate this piece of wood. But I was able to plane it and make it look exactly like this, which is even thinner, and I'm going to show you how I did that. So let's get started. The first thing I did is a resaw piece of three quarter inch pine down to give me two pieces that are about three eighths thickness. So the plan is I'm going to basically mill these down to about, I don't know, eighth of an inch. I want to use these as dividers inside of drawers, so I need to plane these down pretty thinly. So I basically went down and did multiple passes on this. So I'm kind of going through and taking a very little bit of alpha to time. You know, you know, 64th, 32nd, I'm taking just a little tiny bit. I'm basically giving that wheel about, I don't know, half a turn every time I run it through. And uh, it was going pretty good. I thought I was moving along pretty well. And then um, disaster happens. You can hear the sound on the planer made a completely different sound. And we look at the board. Well, it ate my board. Here you can see what, exactly what it looked like afterward. So my solution to this is I'm going to take a piece of uh, melamine here. Um, this is a pretty short piece. And I'm going to basically use some uh, double-sided uh, carpet tape. And I'm going to stick this piece to this uh, board. So this will kind of be like a carrier board that's going to kind of hold that piece down. The reason the planer chews this up is as that little thin piece goes under the rollers, the ends of that piece stick up when that roller kind of goes through the middle. And it basically causes the, the knives on the planer to grab that end and just tear the board all up. So by taping this board down to something a little more rigid, it should prevent that. And here you can see the dramatic difference in the two boards with just using a little bit of carpet tape. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Um, like I said, uh, something as simple as a, a little bit of double-sided sticky tape and a, and a flat board can fix a multitude of issues, obviously, on the planer. And you can actually scale that up and use a longer board um, and some kind of hold-down system or whatever however you want to do it. And then that, that allows you to take care of problems like this or snipe or a lot of other issues. There's a lot of stuff on the internet about that. Anyway, that's all for, uh, for this video. Um, if you uh, like my content, click that like button. If you want to leave me a comment, leave me a comment. I, I read your comments. I, you'll see that I basically reply to everybody. Um, also, uh, I got that um, DeWalt table saw cabinet video coming up in a couple weeks here. After I get a little further down, that'll probably be broken up into a few parts. But if you want to get notified when that video is available, click that subscribe button and ring the bell, and you'll get notified. All right, thanks, everybody. Get out in the garage and build something. Bye.